Hello everybody, Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. I hope you're all well and enjoying a bit of crafting. Um, thank you for joining me today. I am going to start with a, um, a new project today. So, well, I'm hoping it's going to be a one video project, but we'll see how long it takes. It might squeeze over onto two, but hopefully I'll do it on the one. My theory, if it works out, is that this is Thursday that you're watching it and I will um, be in my new place unpacking, hopefully, um, but we'll see. So I'd like to do a uh, envelope folio. Yeah, I'm gonna lose all my words, aren't I? I'm gonna create an envelope folio and it's the first one um, that I can think of that I've ever done on camera. I did do um, a folio with junk um, envelopes when I first started junk journaling, um, but I've not done one um, you know, as a craft with me, or like this, I've only used old old ones. So I have got a kit from Victoria Designs. Squeeze the end up there now. Obviously, you can see they're too big for the envelopes. I'm not I'm not cutting and decoupaging. What I've done is I printed them off originally, and then I thought these would be beautiful small, wouldn't they? Um, so I printed them again, two to a page. So the, you know, landscape and two page, so they were the right size. And here they are. Now I think they're called something like Snow and Ice. It's only a small kit, um, but very, very beautiful, as all Victoria design. Um, oh dear, this car alarm, sorry. All Victoria designs papers are. Yeah, so even more scrumptious, I think, when I shrunk them down. So I've got, I think I've got seven and I've numbered them. Oh, I've got, yeah, there's seven there. I know it says eight. I think there probably are eight pages, but I've got seven here. Oh, I think I might have to stop the tape until that stops. It's very annoying. Oh, oh, just as I was hovering my finger over the button. And that shows my age, doesn't it? Saying I was going to stop the tape. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what I'm on about, when we used to record on tape. <laughs> <laughs> when I was uh, a lot younger, gosh. Um, yeah, and it turns out that they were just the perfect size for these craft envelopes that I had um, already here. So that was perfect. So what I have done is I've kind of, I haven't made one, but I've kind of put it together to see what I thought it will be like. These are quite thick, actually, well, very thick craft envelopes. So um, it might be better, I don't know, on thinner ones, but these are what I'm going to use. So I've got five, five craft envelopes, and I, you can see that I've inked them inside and uh, front and back, because that would be very boring to sit and watch me ink five of those, wouldn't it? I haven't inked these, I don't think I'm going to, um, because they're, you know, they're, they're cream and white and blue. Now I'm going to do a lot of blue projects, and I have bought some blue um, Tim Holtz, is it sapphire blue, I think, the Distress Ink? But I don't think I'm going to use it on this one. What else have I brought with me? So this is another page from um, a Victoria Designs kit that I've got all part of a page called, I think it's Winter Backing Pages or something like that. And I have put this on card. Um, they're gorgeous, scrumptious pages anyway. So because I wanted... Um, back page I didn't have one and want to put the booklet in you'll see in a minute and then this Christmas card which I think um, if you've been with me before hello if you're new but if not you'll have seen them because I got them on a in a charity shop haul so I've cut one of those up I think I'm going to put it on the front I am going to put it on the front I've decided um, this is a piece left over from um, Christmas journal that I made in July from Sweet Pea Papers. Um, that's just a piece out of my stash, Christmas stash from last year, as are these, but I'm pretty sure these are from Artie Mays. I think they're a freebie from a website. So they're just embellishments. That might be a card for one of the, um, uh, one of the pockets. Um, so I'm only gonna, I'm gonna cut it open and have two, two that cut open and have, um, Top, I think, yeah, top loading. Um, the rest will be pages to write on or a notebook. Okay, so get five craft cards and ink round them and make yourself a notebook. So again, I haven't done this on camera. 
I just got five pages of coloured paper out my stash, rounded the corners and just stitched them together in a really basic stitch. Okay, um, I have trimmed the back a little bit, it's probably a quarter of an inch shorter than the front and you'll see why in a moment. So let's see if I can remember what I'm doing. So the first thing I do is take one to put, um, let me just move all these out of the way, <coughs> I'll end up inking on them in all sorts. There's some ink papers, put them over there. Um, yeah, just take one, I'll put those over there as well. Oh, and I brought some ribbon for a closure uh, that we're going to put this onto. Oh, excuse me, itchy nose. Um, no, it needs to go on a piece of this. That's a short piece, right? So, this is the piece that I've cut down. It is, and I've only got centimeters because my inch ruler has been packed, I'm afraid. So, this is 10 centimeters by 5, 10, 15, 18, which I think, yeah, it, it's, it's 18 and three quarters the envelope centimeters. So, yeah, that's 18 and a, 18 and a quarter. And I've just done it by 10. So, the thing is, I'm going to do it on the inside, I think. Um, oh no, I'm not because that will have to be matted, it'll have to be on the outside. Sorry, I did say I'd only put it together, I've not had a go. Yep, so I'm going to put that on there like a side tuck, three sides because this shortened page here will tuck into there. I hope it will. Let's have a look. Oh, as long as I glue it carefully. Mm, going to have to be on my best behaviour there, aren't I? If the worst comes to the worst, I can trim a millimetre off the top and the bottom of that. Um, just so that you can change the notebook out. So I was racking my brain sinking. I, don't, I didn't really want to do it. Is it Missouri style, they call it, where you put an elastic or something through there? Something like that, anyway. Um, but I, I appreciate that that notebook may not last long. Um, then I was thinking a belly band, etc. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I need my art glitter, excuse me. And I need to be, how close can I come to me so you can still see, because I need to be really accurate here. Um, I have inked around this one. So this will be my very last video in this house. Gosh. Well, I think, I mean, we'll still own the house, but a lot of the furniture is going with us so I doubt very much I'll be doing another video here but I guess never say never I might but in theory everything will be going with me in the morning oops well, I'd rather go off than uh... right, I hope you can see what I'm doing but I am going to have to look really carefully at what I'm doing here I want that to fit. I don't want to slide the ink about at the ink. Or even the, yes, what is it called? Glue. I don't want to slide the glue about because I'm obviously going to need every millimetre for that booklet. There, I hope you saw. Please fit in there. In theory, it should. Why are you looking too long, too wide? Oh, that's why I cut the back a little bit so it's not quite, look. It should just be nice on the fold. Um, so the back was, yeah, about 13 and a half centimetres. Lid in the glue. Okay, so we'll do that piece first and then we'll, well, just while that's drying, we'll give it a minute. We'll put the other four envelopes together and let's see if I can remember how I did them. I think I did them all into that one like that. Sorry, my squeaky table again. Did I? Or did I? Oh, I have a feeling I did put them all together like that. Let's try it. I know it's going to be thick in the, yeah, and one of them I folded over there so it would fit. It obviously wasn't that one. 
Yeah, so it's got a bit of a spine with that back one. So it will open like that, like that, like that and like that. And then the middle one is going to be this, which is going to fit in there like that. Okay, it looks right so far, I think. Gosh, I could do it with a little sip of my tea. Excuse me a minute. Thank you. Um, yeah, this is the next thing we need to do, the notebook. Oh, no, I was going to stick it down and then I decided to put it in here. So if I was sticking it down, that would have been the next thing I needed to do, but I don't think it is. Let's see if it fits. It might be snug, but... And it's only paper, not, not card. It's just blue paper, that. It is snug, but it's going to fit. And you're going to fit in a straight line, yes. Well, snug is good because that means it won't uh, won't move about. Lovely. Okay, so we've got the notebook in and we've got all the pieces. It really is now simply a matter of matting everything. Now I want to do the front and the back last because I think I'd like to put that underneath the mats. And my idea of the mats for the front and back is that and that. I think that'd be lovely on the front, won't it? Yep, and that's a nice strong piece for the back. So I'll just pop those over there a minute. And um, I did have a look where I would like them in what order I would like them, which is why they've got numbers on them. So are you number one? No, you're number eight. That's because I showed you them. Eight. Oh, you're number one. Two. Three. I had four as the actual booklet. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so there's actually seven here. I'm bending them in all sorts now. Yeah, that's my glue page, isn't it? So not that one. So we're going into these two. Now, I have to think about the fact that I want this one. So I'm going to open number two and number four across the top. So I probably should do that now, shouldn't I? Before I, yeah, I'm matting them without them being glued in. They need to be glued in, don't they, before I mat them, but I need to open the top of two and four. Sorry, it is, it is a craft with me, not a tutorial. <laughs> I am uh, just oh, working it out as I go along. Yep, so that's open there. And that's number two. Is that right? Envelope number two. Yep. And then you're stuck on envelope number three. Yeah, which is that one. This is envelope number four, which I'm going to open across the top again. Yeah. Okay, let's get rid of that thing now. Don't think we'll need that anymore. Pop those on it. Okay, so we've got those open. Yeah, what we need to do now is glue the flaps in. Am I in the right? So you're going to have a bit of a spine on you as well. Oh, excuse me, that's me too, make him hiccup. Yeah, I think so. Looks okay. Right, so. I probably need to just glue that. Let's turn it upside down so it's nearer me. Hold it until the mat gets it. Nope. Okay, turn them back round again and think about how I'm going to glue them in. So I just do them one at a time on top of each other. Does that make sense? I think so. I'm going to collal them. I hope it doesn't come through the um, 
craft card that the envelope's made of. Do I need to do it all? I don't know. Yeah, I think I probably do. Not too close up to the... Right, what was I saying? It doesn't slide on this craft card. Any glue doesn't like to slide on the craft card. Just trying to leave a bit of a, a spine in that. You not stuck. I know I didn't give you much, but oh, that's number four, isn't it? That's number two then. Don't say I've stuck with two with the... Oh yeah, that one has stuck. So that needs to be that one. That's going to be the back one, is that right? So this one next. Oh, we're sticking. Yeah, I think that's right, that one next. So I don't need to go right up to that edge because it's holding quite well just with that much is the theory turned the wrong way up there so I don't think so too late now if there is because the glue's on so you in there Confused myself entirely now. Not too far in. Right, you must be the back. Are you the back? Right, you're the front. And that's it. Front. Number two. Number three. Number four. <laughs> I hope you're with me. I hope I'm not uh, really confusing you. Yeah, that's it. So that one there. Oh, what came out there? Spread it about a bit. I know I'll have a gluey finger, but I don't want it to leak through. That certainly shouldn't be going anywhere, that one. So this one needs to be in the back, but I've closed all that up, haven't I? So I'm going to have to mm. which is fine, but then I've got the flap at the front to deal with. Well, it's not fine because it doesn't want to go in. Come on, what's up with you? I didn't really want to flap over the front. Where's my front? Um, well, I think I've got paper cut then. Oh, I see. I wanted to flap at the back. Because I cut this big enough to... Uh, just... Having your brains exercised a minute. Have I definitely done it wrong? We're saying that's the front. That's number two because it's open. Isn't it? No. <laughs> that's the front. And that's page two because it's open. That's page three. That's page four because it's open. And page five will not go in there, will you? No. I wonder if I could stick those two together like that. Yeah, now I'm thinking last time when I did it, I put two envelopes together and two envelopes together. And then I put them all together to make four. Oh, I don't see why that won't be. Oops. 
yeah I'm going to do it um, I could even trim that down a bit couldn't I so it doesn't oops gosh am I taking my life in my hands now yeah so it doesn't stick out quite so much if at all right what did I say I was going to do put it on there haha there you go a tiny bit there that's it yeah and if I stick those two together and then that on there it should be strong enough well we'll soon find out won't we so we're sticking this onto that yep just double double checking you come out come on we'll go right to the edge with it this time well will if it wants to come out there's a fair bit on there okay so what we want is this bit square don't we and I just need to stick that down onto itself oh, it's not stuck yet come on can I put a little bit of art glitter in it do you think we do want it to hold don't we oh, very nearly has now can't see what I'm doing I think it's grabbing Okay, that gluey. Yeah, because I was going to use this to let's fold it over. I don't want glue on it now. To glue this down to the. Uh... Oh, goodness me. From one extreme to the other, look. Wasn't coming out a minute ago, was it? That's obviously had second thoughts. Oh, you devil all that so this is the back it's a good job isn't it that it's going to be matted oh I'm covered in it I haven't even put it down yet right I haven't got a cloth but I have got some kitchen roll here and tear a piece off there we go don't know what this will be like with wet kalau probably just stick to it and I'll have white fluff everywhere gosh yeah that is sticky okay let's look what we've got a pin in there Ooh, go on in there we go yeah I'm sticking to myself just rub my fingers I've messed all my pages up it's front and back so they're going on last that's why I moved them out of the way Are we still in order? Are you still number one? You are. Okay, so this one's going to be open. I maybe should have put number two. It is on quite thick paper. Just wondering if I should have put it on card. Oh, that glue look. Um, I just don't want to bulk it out anymore. That's number one, Hugh. Yeah, I mean, you'll be fine on there. Stop leaning on that. I'm trying this bit of gluey tissue under it because I've, like, I put the table down and I took out what I put in the other day. Stop it squeaking. Go on, in you go. May or may not help. Um, no, I'm going to put it down. It's kind of a prototype anyway, isn't it? So I'm going to put it down prototype, proto. Something is moving about. What's moving about? It shouldn't be if you glued. What is not glued? You certainly are. You are. 
Ooh, they're all glued. We've just got wibble wobble on. Okay. Um, I keep trying to keep that short so that I've lost me number one there. Right, let's get them on. Or right, I'll be dithering about all day. Let's just put them on and see. What have I got to lose? Except for I can't feel my fingers for all this glue on them. It's dried, it's just, it's, oh, it's like a film, thin film. Now, so what I need to do here, I hope you're in view, you are, is to get them level once they're on. So do I want to collal? I think I do, but I need to be sparing with it if I can. It's just, it does give me a little bit of, and I'm gluing right in front of the tripod here, so. I haven't stopped it squeaking, has it? Oops. Yeah, I definitely want the edges down. That should be fine for that one. It's the next one that's... I might do the next one without glitter. As I'm only doing the outsides, aren't I? Oh no, just one side the outsides. So maybe a bit of both. Right, don't to touch it with my gluey hands, I have done. Yeah. It's uh Kalal and me, it's a love-hate relationship. I, I'm thinking, I don't know that I could live without it now, but oh, it's a runny little devil, isn't it? So for this one, I want uh, glitter down there, there and there and this on the rest so I think the trick's going to be put it on here isn't it Ooh, like that so that that gets stuck down there put only a bead of this right this probably needs to go on here so that it's in exactly the right spot Not too bad. Okay, now I'm getting it level, as level as can be, with the one on the front page as well. Mm -hmm. Aren't they beautiful papers? So they're not Christmas, they're winter. So, oops, sorry. And it's the first of, I don't know if I said it or not, it's the first of many blue kits that I'm going to do. Um, some, some Christmassy, some wintry. And then have we got a, um, had one there. I don't know if it's gonna fit or not. Like I say, it was left over from another project, but my idea is am I in? Mm, yep, it's going to be a nice size. Oh, have I done anything? Just need to be more. Yes, I've done something wrong down there. Something's grabbing. That shouldn't be. Oh, it's not. What have I caught on then? Oh, where well, the envelope is open. And we just need to wait till it dries. Yeah. So where that envelope there meets the paper, there was a lip. I want to push it open. Yeah, super. Um, number three then. And then what was I thinking about on R? Now I started by saying that would be nice on there, but then I decided it would be a tag. Oh yeah, these. I don't want to be picked up with my... Yeah, I wondered if... Because there was two of them, I thought about one on the front, one on the back. There was two of them. There no longer is. Can't be far away. Um, I think I'll put that on last as embellishment. So this one... Yeah, come underneath because time's ticking and you wanted it to be a one. 
and again I'm in in the tripod's shadow as it were I wasn't even on that page then that's because I'm gluing white uh, yeah white white glue page on white it's not a good idea I can't see what I'm doing I don't want to make the front up and I just did that's better now I can see what I'm doing that's it and we'll have it the right way up I'll have to keep moving that out of the way otherwise I'm going to stick everything whoops to it yeah so I hope it's coming across that actually once you've got your head round it and everything cut to size it is a simple very simple exercise of course you can go back through and put um, pockets and things like that on if you want you can put um, sorry about that table five yeah and you six so you're the one that wants to go on oh i can see it's right over there now um yep yeah, you can put pockets you can put lace put little tucks belly bands anything i'm just going to leave it like this with the beautiful uh with the beautiful pictures i'm not going to I'm not going to go the pocket route with this one but i might make another one and do that might find some thinner craft card uh, envelopes actually because these are really mega thick as well which is nice for what I'm doing but if I would like you know if I'd like to put other things on it I could perhaps do with a little bit more slimness and I'll say no more about that <laughs> There is some writing on it look so i'm lucky i put it in the right way up yeah no we're not stuck okay get rid of that glue page now glued on it twice haven't i oh no, i'm not gluing on this one though am i no i'm gluing on the on the envelope was going quite quite straight then for me until the paper did a bit of a a wobble on me oh yes I've put a lot of glue a bit bigger than I needed there around the edge I might have to give that one a minute or two to dry before I close it I even love these you know just the the icy icicles no what are they? Snowflakes. <laughs> yeah, that's quite sticky down there still. And of course they're perfect for writing on or as a backing for something. Dry. Um, I suppose I could put something in there. I've got a, a misprint here, look. I tried it on blue, I didn't like it. Didn't like it at all, it was much nicer on the white. Um, I'll cut it up and use it for something, but um, not for this. Oh, you're a bit thick. Let's do you thin. We're thick enough without you adding. Yeah, now because it's got that um, quite big spine, we have got quite a, a dip there, haven't we? And that's where I brought those two back on the cells as well. 
but we're not a no we're not so we can maybe what number are you You're number eight i was gonna say we can maybe go a long way in there could have cut the paper a bit bigger couldn't i No, nope, it is what it is and we'll do it as it is. Um, so this one, I'm not gluey under there are you? You are. No lady, don't you fly off. You're just going straight down aren't you? You're open at the top or no? I suppose I should have put some divots in them. Is that one not open at the top? I think you should be, shouldn't you? I'll have to have a look in a minute. No, I'll have a look now before I make anything worse. I'm dreaming, is that not the one that I opened? Oh, you were stuck there. Well, let's have a look what's going on. You just took yourself back in. So number two, oh, number two is open. Number three is not. Number four should be open, right? Come on. There we go. We're open. Where's the, uh, where's the ruler gone? There it is. It's, uh, it's open. Ah, you were sticking. That's not falling out, it's just that it's the notebook. No sticking, please. Yeah, so obviously if you're doing this at home, you can take your time, glue a page and then really leave it to, uh, you know, to set properly, to dry, for the glue to dry before you go turning pages. And I think if I do another one off camera, that is what I'll do. I'll give it plenty of time. Oops, you are sticky now. Same as me. Let me just rub my hands together a minute. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Sorry, I've got windows open, you can probably go there. I think somebody's coming home from work on his motorbike. And it doesn't sound like a very... I don't know much about motorbikes. <laughs> Maybe you'll, they like it to sound like that. Oh dear, have I got the right one? Yes. And it just doesn't sound very well to me, but maybe that's, that's how they like it. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love the colour of that blue on that... Uh, that craft without anything next to it, you know, just the craft and the blue. It'll change again when a page goes on there, but uh, yeah, that's lovely colour. You know, me and my colours. And this one isn't going to be open. Nope. So, yeah, so this will hold all that down and give it a bit of extra strength, won't it? Oh, did I put like the blue? No, but you're lucky. Okay, nearly 40 minutes, so it looks like, looks like we might have it done in a video, that'd be brutal. Which means the next one I make and put up, I think, will be from the new place. I don't know if it's exciting or terrifying. I've not left myself a lot of wiggle room uh, time-wise to get sorted. If today's Thursday for you. I should, in theory, be filming today and I only moved in, which I haven't yet, but <laughs> if you're watching this, I only moved in yesterday. So, yeah. 
I think maybe I would use glue stick, I don't know, or perhaps get that kalal into a different bottle. I was doing it again as well. Oh, I do beg your pardon. Goodness me. So, yeah, I think kalal's the glue to use, actually. It's just I need to somehow get control of it. I mean, it'd be lovely. It, it might be nice with lace and things down the side. Another one. I'm not going to this one. And, um, and it might be nice with the, you know, side... Um, what are they? Journal cards. Side journal cards instead of front ones. Top ones. Right. Shall I put these on just to make it pretty? Can you just excuse me a minute? Um, I don't know if it goes with that though. That journal card does. Because <laughs> it's a snowy kind of hmm, scene. What do we think? Yeah, I was thinking, oh, this glue's driving me to distraction on my fingers. I was thinking perhaps the insides here. Um, right in the middle. And if I'd done those on card or a bit thicker paper, they could, um, yeah, they could be tucks or pockets, couldn't they? But I think what I'll do is I'll just stick it down as an embellishment for the sake of the video and speed and you know the learning curve all that keeping it slim like i said i was going to as slim as i can I can Oop. so i'll just put it slightly lower down in case we want to or whoever gets it whether i give it to <laughs> wants to write a title or something in there. So I was going to do the back, wasn't I, but I think we like it on there. We could just tuck it in. I think I'll just leave it tucked in. Whoever gets it can uh, can do what they want with it. Right, let's get this let's get this ribbon on and then we can put the front on, which will be nice to see the front if nothing else. In theory, the front and back, but right, so it wants to be that needs to be the middle. But I kind of only want to glue it on because it does make a gluey mess of the ribbon. Any kind of glue I've noticed um, does make a mess of ribbon. So I do only want to glue it on under the actual card. So I'm thinking Fabri-Dac because it doesn't matter if it makes a mess of. The ribbon. Let's put the lid on this. And can we do it in a straight line? Is another thing. And I think it probably wants a lot because this ribbon may well soak it up. Yep, sneaking out. Yeah, so I'm thinking put the front on and let it set before I put the back on. Um, so, shall I fabric tack? I think I will. I know it's uh, and I'm, I'm starting to run short of fabric tack, and I am next week going to be making some fabric covered covers got some lovely blue material for my next blue project and I've got some lovely green Christmassy material for my next green Christmas project. So the next blue thing I'm going to do is going to be um, guest DT for after midnight design. I've got a lovely blue kit similar theme to this so snow and ice and icicles winter not Christmas. And then I've got another Nanine kit to do, so that's collage type. Uh, a green botanical, I think. Yeah, botanical Christmas. Yeah, I like it. And actually, that fabric tax held it quite well, so I dare now, I think. 
fold it over and let's have this in a straight line Ooh. and put this back on so where are we going kind of there actually don't need too much on there do I because this is going to hold it on so do we want that nice piece in the top corner or do we want it in the bottom 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 corner yeah so definitely getting all the inking done beforehand and all the bits cut out and <laughs> sad though I am numbering the pictures where I want them I know sometimes you like to see the decision making but it's helped me to get a video done a project done in the one video which is very nice well it's very nice for me <laughs> I don't know if it's very nice for you sometimes it's nice to see something from start to finish in one go so you're not waiting all the time glue my fingers again yeah I'm not going to tie it or anything like that right let's just make sure none of the pages in the middle are stuck together I'm now thinking a book plate would be nice obviously if I'd have put it on there before I'd glued it down yeah it'll have something out the top because there'll be tabs on the two um yes journal cards that are coming out of there yeah that's just the back of the book there yeah that's some blue things there might have to have a think about that might have to have something down there um, and really that's only come about because i didn't the way that i put the envelopes together if you remember i did something odd with that back one that needs to glue a bit better as well I, I might end up just putting a bit of lace or something like that in there once it's dry um where's that let's just put that in there then so oh yeah the back so that's the back it might be nice with a little pocket on it actually yep so journaling papers a tag in the top of there a journal card in the top of there papers this is your notebook now you could make a, a thickish notebook and sew it in and make it permanent you could do um what well, i didn't do want to do the pretty sure Missouri style is wrong is right but I might be wrong I might have completely got the wrong word there where you kind of put um, wrap it all the way around and fasten it so that you can change that or you could just put a belly band there so you could change it all the time um, yeah so that's going to have a tag in the top and beautiful papers and that I mean I can still put a book plate on I'll just have to glue it on rather than put the brads through it's not really a problem either yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tie it up because that is quite I got away with it shutting it once I'm not going to so if you've enjoyed that thank you very much for joining me I've thoroughly enjoyed it myself um, I'll be back with you tomorrow with another video if you've liked it give me a thumbs up that'd be fabulous and um, have a lovely day Bye.